Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. I do air fryer videos every Friday or every other Friday, depending on when I can get them out for you guys. And today we are going to be making wontons in the air fryer. So I have everything ready behind me. Um, I have just um, some things cut up, but otherwise we're gonna start out everything fresh from the beginning. I have the sauce already made, the dipping sauce already made, and that is um, with rice vinegar, soy sauce, and then um, sesame seeds you can add to it, and then um, some pepper flakes if you would like. So that's just the sauce, and then um, some oil is in there. But I'll leave all that, that part in the description if you want the dipping sauce, unless you guys have like a good dipping sauce that you guys like to eat with like egg rolls and stuff like that. So, but I have um, my scallions already cut up and then I have, um, I have my crab right here. So we're gonna, I'm gonna bring you guys a little closer and then I'm gonna get started and cut everything up and then go from there. So for the recipe, you're going to need um, four ounces of crab. So in the package, this is 16 ounces. So I'll just grab like a good chunk and we'll work with that. So that's kind of like a half, half a package uh, of the 16 ounce. So go ahead and get started with that. And then um, eight ounces of cream cheese softened to room temperature. And I'm gonna go ahead and just add that to my bowl right away. So I'm just gonna this mixed up here. I should have probably opened it up quick. Okay, so go ahead and just put that in there. I'm going to cut up my crab and I'm going to cut it up um, pretty small. I don't want big chunks in there. Otherwise, when you put them in the wonton, um, wraps they're not gonna that's gonna be too much to be in there so just cut them up as tiny as you would like so I'm just gonna do as much as I can with my knife and then um, just kind of shred them up in my bowl okay so that's that with the crab. And then you need about two tablespoons of scallions. So I'm gonna put that in there right away. I have my wonton skins here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just mix everything together. You're also gonna be adding some soy sauce but I'm gonna mix this together first. A little fun fact, I used to work at a Chinese restaurant when I was 19 years old, and I had to help make some of this stuff, so I made like the egg rolls and wontons, and I also served and stuff like that, so. Just make sure that you're getting all the cream cheese and the um, crab legs mixed together. So I'm gonna put this off to the side. I'm gonna get something to put my wontons on and a little bowl for water so that I can seal my wonton. Okay, so you're gonna wanna take your wonton and you're going to just put a little bit in the center. So I would say maybe like about a teaspoon in there, and then you're going to get the sides all wet so that it um, seals together. And when you press your wontons together, make sure that you um, squeeze out all the air so that it doesn't, um, when you cook it, it doesn't get inside. 
and that you don't get like air bubbles inside. So you're gonna wanna like squeeze it pretty good. So there's that. Okay, I'll come back when I'm done setting up more of these and then I will show you what you need to put your air fryer on and how long you need to cook. So I'm gonna get started with this and then um, come back. Okay, so I have the wontons already um, put together. What you're gonna wanna do is spray the inside of your air fryer so the wontons don't stick to the base of your pan like this. And then you're gonna wanna only put maybe like seven or eight in there because you don't want them touching. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and just spray it down and then I'll tell you what we need to cook them at. So you're going to want to set your air fryer to 350 and then cook them for seven minutes. So we're going to let it cook down and then we'll come back and check on them. Once they're finished, I'm going to check on them to see if I need to cook them a little bit longer um, and then I'll plate them up and show you guys. So I cooked them for seven minutes on 350 and that worked out perfect. So that was a good, good amount of time. All right, so there you go. They look so good and I'm excited to try these. I have some kids that I'm gonna have uh, try it too to see if they like it but hopefully that was uh, something different for you guys and that was pretty easy pretty easy to make I'll leave everything down in the description and then also in the description I have some like accessory kits and then I think a link to get an air fryer and spot and stuff like that so I got a bunch of stuff down there but otherwise yeah this was pretty easy and then you can um, side it with the sauce so I'm gonna go ahead and just add some um, sesame seeds right to it and I'm gonna give it a try and just try it out because I haven't had one of these in a very long time They're really, really good. Um, the sauce is really good too. Okay, so they're really good. Um, they're really hot and they're very like, the top part is very crunchy and the inside is very soft and it is so delicious. So you guys need to try this. This is so good. So, Hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.